Unit 27, questions 83 to 86. Okay, so um, this uh, question has some um, uh, organic chemistry. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, looking at some Fisher projections, which are two-dimensional ways to represent three-dimensional structures. And uh, then question 83 for compounds uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, those that have chiral carbons are. So, um, you know, when you look at some of these uh, molecules, uh, one of the things, of course, is that uh, wherever you see um, that there are two hydrogens to something, you know, for example, here, uh, there would be two hydrogens attached here because you, what you see is a geometric figure and uh, there's two bonds, so there must be two other hydrogens that you don't see. So if there's two hydrogens here, this cannot be chiral because chiral means it's attached to four different substituents. If it's attached to hydrogen twice, it's not chiral. So not chiral, not chiral, not chiral. So then you really have to assess this carbon here. Is it chiral? Well, this carbon is attached to one thing here, CH3. It's attached to this thing here, which is OH. And the question is, is this the same as this? Is this the same as this? And uh, yes, it is. You know, there's there. You know, there's a symmetry here that you can draw down the line, and you can fold on itself. And but but the point is that that there is nothing different here. Had this had just one little group on it, one extra little group here, then this would be different from that. But as it is, it's the same. That means there's two groups that are the same. And so this carbon here is achiral, therefore the whole molecule is achiral. This carbon is attached to hydrogen three times, so it's definitely achiral. And then for the um, other molecules, uh, you, have, um, uh, you have another uh, ring like this, sort of a cyclopentane ring with uh, carbon here and an OH uh, group here. And here we have um, two chiral carbons because we have this carbon here it's attached to a hydrogen, which is not showing. It's attached to carbon here. It's attached to this, which is different from this because there's this extra group here. So this is different from this, and there's a hydrogen and a carbon. So this is a chiral carbon, and this is a chiral carbon for the same reason. And then um, you, you also have uh, the compound uh, um, 3 and it has a carbon here, it has an OH group here, for the same reasons, these are two, both chiral uh, carbons, and then on the last one, um, you have uh, oxygen up here, and you have uh, CH3 here, and this is chiral. This is not chiral here. This one is not chiral because it's bonded to oxygen twice. So it's bonded once here, once here, and this twice, achiral. And please be careful during the exam. Uh, Acer likes, loves to uh, sometimes uh, have uh, a molecule um, uh, like this and then put a circle in it and then uh, you know, ask you if it, there's any chiral carbons in here and it's impossible. There's no chiral carbons in a benzene ring because these are all double bonded carbons, double bonded to themselves. Of course, it's not really double bonded, but that's a different subject. <laughs> um, so... Um, Question eight, uh, 83, therefore, is the answer is 2, 3, and 4 only, and that is answer C. So moving on to uh, question uh, 84. Which of the following correctly lists the groups or atoms in order of decreasing uh, priority? So decreasing priority. So um, in A, we do have carbon and carbon, and there's a bit of a complicated rule um, with double bonds that Acer didn't mention, so we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna leave that aside for now. And uh, C, we have the first bond uh, is to a carbon, and then there's bromine after that, but bromine um, is... Uh, has the higher atomic number and therefore bromine should come first and then uh, for D uh, we have the same situation nitrogen should be before carbon because it has a higher atomic number uh, but antitrust B has oxygen before carbon and uh, that's what you look at first you look at the first atom that's bonded there so you have oxygen before carbon and um, and that is correct so answer choice B is correct and then um, 
Uh, question 85. Um, I don't know why, but uh, you know, I know everybody's using the ebooks now because that's what Acer's selling. But I, I, I bought my booklets when uh, they were selling booklets, and and uh, my booklets missing some bonds in this um, in this part. But uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that uh, it's meant to look like this. Um, o H and C H three and CH2, CH3, and then um, CH2, CH3, H, O, H, CH3. So these are Fisher projections, and what that means is these horizontal lines are coming out towards you. They're coming out towards you, this one and this one. So that's a Fisher projection. And um, so it's asking, uh, are these um, are these basically mirror images of each other? Are they superimposable? Uh, are are they not related? Or um, do they have more than uh, one chiral carbon? Well, they have exactly one chiral carbon, and it's at the center. This is the chiral carbon. It's bonded to four different groups, four different substituents. So it is chiral. And uh, in terms of um, um, uh, are they, you know, what is their relationship? These are superimposable, and uh, there's a there's a rule for this. Uh, Acer didn't give it uh, in this particular problem, uh, but uh, the rule is that for any Fisher projection, you are permitted to switch the position of two groups simultaneously. So you can switch the position of these two groups simultaneously. And you can see if you put CH3, if you put this ethyl group over here and this hydrogen over here, you have exactly this, the ethyl group here, the hydrogen there. If you put the OH group here and the methyl group here, you have exactly this, OH methyl. So uh, these two groups are superimposable on each other um, and this is the reason this is the rule and uh, and therefore 85 the answer is a 86 consider Fisher projections of the following three compounds da 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 um, the s configuration is found in okay so um, you know f for this uh, you know first uh, we, we have um, we have one here with the COOH, um, you have the methyl group here, you have uh, bromine and hydrogen. So um, you would, bromine would be number one, it has the highest atomic mass, and then uh, you would go to carbon and carbon, they're equal, so you go to the next one, hydrogen, and this one has oxygen. Oxygen is above hydrogen, so uh, this becomes number two, and this becomes number three. And then you, you um, you have to uh, look at this by putting the hydrogen on top. You have to put the hydrogen on top and so that the hydrogen is going away from you. And then after that, uh, then you can see uh, what direction everything's going. So um, we're just going to do that uh, little switchy switchy. Um, so um, by doing that switcheroo, by putting the hydrogen on top here, uh, number two position comes down here number one position comes up here and number three over here right because that's what I'm doing I'm just doing uh, the same rule that we did uh, before and uh, then uh, you have to go in a descending order okay and um, and if you do that then uh, you can see that uh, this is going to be a S configuration and then uh, next uh, uh, for the uh, number two, uh, Roman numeral two, um, if you were just to put them uh, in their current positions, you would, uh, you would end up with OH uh, being um, the number one position because of oxygen there. The uh, number two position would be over here because it's carbon bonded to a carbon, okay? And that is above methyl, uh, which is over there. And then there's hydrogen this way at the bottom over here and uh, yeah that's not fun but anyway so you know we'll get hydrogen on top by uh, switching this way okay 
we will switch this way and then we'll have to switch a second time. So if we switch this way, uh, one comes down here, hydrogen comes up here. Uh, anyway, I better do it. So uh, we're gonna have two here, three here now, and um, we're gonna have hydrogen over here and one over here. And then we're gonna switch again like this. And so uh, we're going to have hydrogen on top finally. And, um, and number two is gonna be over here. And uh, we're gonna have three down here and one over here. <clears throat> And um, this has the same arrangement, <laughs> one, two, three, uh, same arrangement here. And uh, so we go around like this and uh, we have our uh, uh, S uh, configuration. And then finally, um, we don't even have to change the position of the last one because it already has hydrogen on top. So it has hydrogen on top. Then uh, the first position would be over here, uh, which because it's oxygen bonded first. Then, um, then you have carbon bonded to an oxygen, so that will come in second, but it's carbon that's bonded first. Then we have three here, and, uh, and you can see that this is uh, one, two, three, and so this is going in the uh, opposite direction as the uh, S, so um, this is uh, R. And so the S configuration is found in one and two only, which is the answer uh, D. And you can uh, learn more about uh, stereochemistry uh, by going uh, to uh, org um, uh, in the book uh, 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3.